Welcome back engineers. Today we will learn about steady state thermal analysis. The steady state thermal analysis calculates the thermal response to heat loads depending upon the prescribed temperature or applied convection condition or both. A steady state thermal analysis assume a steady state for all thermal loads and the boundary conditions. You can use a steady state thermal analysis to determine temperature, thermal gradients, heat flow rates, heat fluxes in an object that are caused by the thermal loads that do not over the time. Engineers often perform a steady state analysis before performing a transient thermal analysis to help establish initial conditions. A steady state analysis also can the last step of a transient thermal analysis performed all after the transient effect have dismissed. Point remember in the video is that a steady state thermal analysis may be either linear with the constant material properties or non-linear with the material properties that depend on temperature. The thermal properties of most material do vary with temperature so the analysis usually is non-linear. Today we perform steady state thermal analysis on model heatsink. Temperature we applied all bottom faces to 30 degree. Insert the convection on all remaining faces. Signet air on vertical planes. Output we find out temperature distribution and heat flux. So let's see the process. In the analysis system, first of all we click on steady state thermal analysis. Click on geometry and wait some time for open the tab. Click on file. Click on import the geometry. Select geometry from our design library. Select open. Say generate. As we see that there is no mistake in the design. So go through the mechanical modular, click on model, wait some time for open the tab. Click on mesh, give the element size 5, click on mesh, insert the method, click on the body and say apply, click on sizing, click on body, say apply, give the element size 5 and say generate. As we see that the elements are good, so go through the analysis setting. Give the time 1 second. Click on steady state thermal. Click on temperature. Click on all bottom faces. Say apply. As we see that the magnitude of temperature is room temperature. So click on steady state thermal, click on convection, select all the faces, then the bottom faces, select box. As the selection method, remove the all bottom faces because we are applied the temperature on the bottom faces. Click on film coefficient. This is by default from the our library. 
click on signet air the vertical planes give the temperature 230 degree click on solution click on insert click on temperature click on heat flux and say solve wait some time for the output tab in the output temperature the maximum temperature is 230 degree and the minimum temperature is 193.61 degree centigrade and the total heat flux we find out zero point seven one four three five and the minimum point zero zero five seven three two 